In this video, we will speak about Kametsuha 2. It is a very tricky vowel, which many students find difficult to understand. Why it is so difficult? Because it looks the same as Kamets, but it sounds as O. The Masarets could make our life a bit easier if they would make up another symbol for Kamets Hatuf, but they didn't. But there is a good news. And the good news is that Kamets Hatuf doesn't occur very often, and there is a simple rule how we can discern Kamets from Kamets Hatuf. And this is the rule. The Kamets Hatuf can occur only in an unaccented closed syllable. So, when you look at the syllable with Kamets, and you do not know whether it Kamets or Kamets Hatuf, you must check two conditions. First, if the syllable unaccented, and another one, is it closed or open syllable. For example, Korban. In this case, we have Kamets, and uh, this is exactly Kamets Hatuf, because the accent falls at the last syllable, and the first syllable is closed. So we have Korban, and it should be read as O, because it is Kamets Hatuf. Okay, uh, I can understand that some of you can say, is it a simple rule? Is it possible to stop every time when you are reading to check all the all this above mentioned conditions? And you are right, it is complicated. That is why I will suggest you a rule of thumb. This rule doesn't cover all the cases, but it will be very helpful to you. You do not need to check all the cases when commits occurs in a word. And in fact, commits occurs very often. But you need to check only those cases when commits is followed by Shiva. So you can see this pattern, commits and Shiva. And if you find this pattern, so it is it means that it is very probably not a commits, but commits hatuf. Let us look at several examples. Chokhmah. You can see we have here Kamets and Sheva. So it is very probable that it is not a Kamets but a Kamets Hatuf. And it is the case. Chokhmah, which means wisdom. A next example. Ochla, the same pattern, Kamets and Sheva. And uh, that is why we read it not as Achala but as Ochla. And it means food. But as I told you, this, this rule doesn't cover all the cases, and I will show you another example. Uh, in this word, we have the same pattern, Kamets and Shiva. But this word is not a noun, it is a verb, and verb usually follows a little bit different rules. Okay, and in this case, uh, this word should be read as Kateva. Masarets understood that uh, this is a little bit complicated. That is why they invented another sign or another uh, feature, and they call it metek. Metek is a vertical, short vertical line, which is located at the left side of the comets. And a metek indicates that this is not a closed syllable, but open syllable. And in this case, we need to read it ka te va. And now I want to show you another example. The word that we already know, ochla, and another word which is very similar to the first one, and the only difference is kamets. Sorry, not kamets, but metek. And this metek makes a big difference because the first word is read as Ochla, and it means food. But the second word is read as Achela, and it means she ate, because the second word is a verb. So we have to be very careful when we uh, find uh, Kamets Katuf in the text. And now I would like to pay attention to one more word which is also very, very tricky. 
uh, because many students, especially the beginners, make a mistake when they read this word. And this is particle. And this is particle col. It has two ways of uh, two ways of uh, two forms. Actually, the particle means everything or all, and these two forms looks look like this: col and col. And they are read the same: col and col. But what is the difference? The difference is that in the second word we have a kometz hatuf, which should be read as o. So how do we know that this is Kometz Katuf and why it is a Kometz Katuf if it is not a pattern that we saw in the previous examples? Uh, everything actually is very simple. Uh, this uh, second form, call with Kometz Katuf, is not an independent word, but it is added to the next noun with the Makev. And in this case, Call loses its accent, and because it occurs in a closed syllable, it perfectly fits. It, it perfectly fits the rule of Kametz Hatuf, and in this case we have Kametz Hatuf. For example, Kol Zahav, ancient Hebrew, ancient Jewish people consider it as one word, and in the first syllable. Uh, the, it is, uh, the first syllable is unaccented and it is a closed syllable. That is why call here, uh, that is why kametz here is not kametz but kametz hatuf and should be read as o. Call zahav, which means all gold. So be very careful when we, when you meet this word and remember that it is always should be read as call. Thank you for being with us and uh, see you later.